Are you tired of missing out on all of those exclusive Godzilla figures? Don't worry anymore, Big Bad Toy Store has you covered with every single exclusive Godzilla figure possible that you can imagine. Good example, they have the Monster Arts Godzilla Ultima, which is an exclusive figure and Big Bad Toy Store has you covered with every single exclusive Godzilla figure statue toy that you could possibly imagine. So what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description down below to shop there. Thank you for watching. I think I'm destined to win it. They playing games, I ain't in it. Yeah, yeah. I took the message and sent it. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about two highly detailed statues and a lot of people have been wanting a comparison or more information about them. So this video will be comparing the two most requested statues that we have for this year and next year. So first of all, we're going to be taking a look at the Godzilla King of the Monsters Omega Beast series Furious Blue version. It's a limited edition statue. Now this is currently going for around $1,299. The estimate release date is for first quarter of 2022, meaning next year. And the size, now for tall, it would be 20 inches tall. Uh, width, it's 16.9 and length is 43 inches, meaning from head to tail, like long, that's how much it is. So it is extremely long and tall. Now for material, it's made out of plastic and magnets, meaning that you're going to be able to connect the hands, arms, and legs easily without having to grip them and struggle like we saw with X Plus or other statues. And it's highly detailed. And for pre-order bonuses or what's in the box, it's pretty much Godzilla, the statue. You get a extra dorsal plate that glows in the dark. And that's pretty much it. Now, don't get confused. This is not the 2021 version from Godzilla vs. Kong. This is actually the supercharged version that we saw in Godzilla King of the Monsters. So it's based on that sculpture, but they are pretty much the same version now. I really do like this pose because it's really dynamic. It has the mouth open. The dorsal plates look extremely awesome with the color infused with the skin, making it really seem like it's actually glowing. Some more interesting information for people that want a comparison between all statues. So between X Plus and Omega Beast, Omega Beast has the taller statues just by a little bit comparing their Shin Godzilla to X Plus. Omega Beast, Shin Godzilla is bigger and they just look more thicker. Uh, they have a really unique style. And this Godzilla uh, Furious version should be taller than the X Plus Godzilla 2019 or the supercharged version. And I believe it is actually taller than the Spiral Studio because Spiral Studio has almost the same size with X Plus. They're pretty much on par with each other, but not with this statue. And the details look extremely awesome. I have to say that I'm more of a fan of this pose than the Spiral Studio simply because I've been insisting, well back then right when I had communication with them, I told them that they should have changed up the pose to make it more dynamic and this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, something roaring with the mouth open. I mean just by looking at the prototype you can tell that the colors the skin texture and overall the size is already looking extremely phenomenal. And I'm going to get to the Spyro Studio just in case people don't know information or some details about them. And then overall, I'm going to give you my thoughts between both companies and which one you should go with. Right now, you're looking at the dorsal plate that comes with this Godzilla King of the Monsters as an accessory. I believe it glows in the dark. I'm not sure about that. Next image can be a completely new statue, a life-size, human size, or it could be a different pose with different arms because I heard something about that, but I'm not sure about it, so I cannot confirm if this is a different pose with different arms or a completely new statue. Next up, here we have Burning Godzilla from Spyro Studio representing the Godzilla King of the Monsters version. There's two different versions. There's a limited edition, and then there's the standard version. The standard version, uh, has Godzilla, no Mothra wings, no extra accessories. The limited edition actually glows with LED lights. You have the Mothra wings, you have a extra base, the one in Boston, and you have 
other cool art concept that comes with this. So what's in the box, you have the Burning Godzilla statue with the tail stand. You have Burning Godzilla with a exclusive art print. Now this is with the limited edition version, of course, and you have the Mothra wings. Now for size, it should be tall, 20.1 inches tall, and it should be uh, 34.6 inches in length. And I believe this is the same size as X Plus. There's no real difference, only the color and different pose. Now, the price should be around $1,449. That's for the standard edition. Now for the limited edition, that is going to cost you $2,399. Release date is first quarter of 2022. Obviously prices depend which website you use. It could be around 2,000 to the price that I gave you. The standard edition can be around 1,200 and above. And now they also have their version of King Ghidorah. Now that one, I haven't heard anything about it. It was supposed to be released a long time ago. Honestly, I am not sure what's going on with their uh, release date with schedules. But overall, uh, this is a very beautiful representation of their Burning Godzilla, making it unique with the Mothra Wings. If you do decide to go with the limited edition, which is the one that is truly worth it if you're trying to get the ultimate version of Godzilla because it has a diorama, it has uh, a thermal pose effect, meaning with the LED lights, uh, Godzilla glows in a very unique way. And I've seen it in action. It comes with an exclusive Burning Godzilla art print, obviously by Matt Frank. 3D sculpt is by Tanaka and material is out of translucent resin, vinyl, and polystone. In case you are wondering what type of material they are going to be using so it's really up to you guys to decide which statue is worth it now if you're asking me right for prices obviously the omega beast is cheaper comparing it to the spiral studio now which one is taller the omega beast is taller but the spiral studio is the same size as x plus so you really have to think about it right as a consumer what's your budget and if you have enough money to purchase the limited edition or both of them think about it okay which one is really worth it for the money and stop and think okay do i like the burning godzilla version of spiral studio or the furious version of omega beast me personally because i like red i would obviously go with burning godzilla but the omega beast i have to say that i honestly am a fan of that pose more than the spiral studio uh, back then when I had a communication with Sparrow Studio, I did tell them that I felt like they should have added for the limited edition a extra head to make it look like the Omega Beast. Something that gave it that feeling of Godzilla just roaring to the sky, showing his true power. And I had different ideas, but it obviously didn't come to fruition or just didn't happen at all with Sparrow Studio. So I am extremely happy that Omega Beast at least took that route, trying something different. Their statues are more bulkier, thicker, different in texture. And I really do like the pose. I really do like how both of them, they have a unique type of effect with them glowing their eyes. If you look at the uh, supercharger version of Omega Beast, you can see that the eye is sort of glowing in a very awesome way. The Burning Godzilla is also glowing. So you might have noticed that the Sparrow Studio has the smaller head compared to the Omega Beast. I already made a video explaining what's up with that. Pretty simple. The legendary version, uh, they made their head smaller for the 2019 compared to the 2014. So that's why the Sparrow Studio is going with accuracy and it appears to have a smaller head compared to the Omega Beast. Now Omega Beast obviously is going for accuracy, but at the same time, it's more stylized. It's more unique in a different way comparing it to the Spiral Studio or X Plus. And me personally, I absolutely prefer the more bulkier, bigger head like the 2014 on the Omega Beast. I just think that the Omega Beast looks better compared to the Spiral Studio where the Spiral Studio seems to have a super large and thick 
body and a super small head and it just looks out of proportion please keep in mind this is just my personal opinion there's no hate for both companies both companies have phenomenal sculptors different techniques designs and all of that so respect to both of them but i'm just giving you facts and my opinion as a godzilla fan who has been collecting figures for so many years and i just honestly think that the omega bees right now is currently worth it more for the money and size over the standard edition burning godzilla version and from what i know from both companies omega beast has more plans to release uh, different monsters from different movies and upcoming statues for godzilla vs kong like mecha godzilla and other monsters that you guys will find out very soon and i believe that the main guy from omega beast is g forever I personally don't know him, but I do watch some of his videos. He's an awesome guy and honestly respect to him for making this company if the information is true. Uh, I'm not 100% on this, but if I am incorrect, let me know in the comments down below. Now on the other hand, you have Spyro Studio and I think both of them are really good. It honestly comes down to what you like, what's your taste with statues, uh, material wise, release date size and all of that so if you really just want something that looks badass big omega beast is the one for you if you want something that's really awesome that glows in the dark that has light something unique with art and mothra wings spiral studio would be the one for you even though it's more expensive so right now i want everyone to let me know in the comments down below which is the company that is worth it to you for the money the size details pose pretty much everything on the line i'm curious to know which one you guys think will come out on top and obviously from what i know the furious version of omega beast is actually pulling out incredible numbers the chart is super high from what i saw on pre-orders it's doing extremely well and i am very happy for them and i hope that maybe i can get in contact with them and share a few ideas that i've been having but either way i'm sure that g forever and his team has already pulled out incredible ideas uh, respect for both companies and i truly hope that they do something unique and don't repeat the same thing from other companies or same mistakes not offering enough accessories not offering something that is worth the price we want something extremely uh, detail something that's worth the price that makes sense to us the consumer and i truly wish both of them well but uh honestly be between me and sparrow studio some people have been asking what's going on why is there no communication between you to tell you the truth uh, me and sparrow studio are no longer in communication with each other communication has been cut off for about three months four months now, I am not sure if this is because uh, they had problems with pre-orders and I was trying to help out a few people. Now, I am not sure what those people went out and said on multiple pages or groups. That is up to them. But either way, me trying to be the nice guy, me trying to help out other people pretty much got me burned. In other words, I got fucked up for other people trying to help them and it ruined me in a way where I probably lost my respect and trust with Spyro Studio because of that. And I don't feel sorry because, look, as a company, that is your responsibility to take care of your consumers and be responsible with payments and assure your consumers that you're going to deliver a statue. And if there's problems like that, I don't know what to say, but you're putting a bad image as a company. And obviously, they made promises to me that never came to fruition and i am extremely disappointed with spyro studio on that level because some people have came up to me or even messaged me and told me that thanks to me they placed their pre-order on spyro studio because they trust me because they saw my video and they know who i am obviously spyro studio has done their part with promotion and other things and it would be a lie if you said that my help my promotion didn't help spyro studio in any way because from what I know, and I haven't counted every single one of them, but from what I know, I at least made Sparrow Studio a few thousand dollars from the pre-orders that I have with some people that I personally know and got in contact with. 
And yeah, it is a shame that they didn't keep their promises with me. I'm not going to disclosure that information in this video because that is something personal, but I do feel like they sort of used me in a way and if they had an issue with me, you know, I always said it, the best way to resolve any sort of problem is always talking in a civil way. There's no point in um, arguing with both parties. There's no point in hating each other. That's not going to take either party anywhere. If you're trying to fix something, if I made a mistake, if you made your own mistakes, we have to own up and accept our mistakes. But either way, I did my part and they uh, unfortunately didn't keep their promises. That's why it's extremely hard to put any faith in any company nowadays because if we learn anything from video game companies, they always lie. All they care about is money. They promise so many things that they're going to change and they never do. They never do and I'm afraid this is going to continue with other companies not keeping their quality, not keeping their promises. Hopefully, Omega Beast can change this up and actually keep their promises with people that they know personally and actually with their customers. I really want to see uh, both companies do extremely well. So that is my part of my story for all of you guys messaging me wondering what happened between Spyro Studio and me. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ruby Gaming X. I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts as always. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like, I'll catch you guys. Bye-bye.